Welcome to another process video. We're going to be slow stitching, hand stitching, using up our scraps of fabric and making some little fabric buttons. Let me put you down closer and, and show you how I made them. It, I've done it before, it's been done before, but I know I just fancied making some. I got my vintage sewing box recently and inside I found these fabric buttons that Journey had sent me. And I found them very inspiring. Aren't they beautiful? So that's what started me off making making the fabric buttons again. <laughs> oh, it's really lovely to have a little rummage through, isn't it? Can you imagine this? That would have been someone's coat button, maybe in the 50s. I love it. Right, I've travelled up to Ben's. Got my cup of tea, Kit Kat Chunky. And let me set myself up here for making more buttons. Oh, it's a lo another lovely sunny day. Here's the buttons at the various stages. So you've got a middle, which is an old fleece or some batting. Use what you have. Then scraps of fabric for the front. Sandwich them together with the backing. Here I've used felt. For, this, for one, I can use silk. You can use any of your fabrics for a backing. And then the play <laughs> begins, just gently sewing. Mm. So I've got the three layers and then it's just a case of, it's slow stitching. So any stitch goes, big, small, a running stitch. If you know embroidery stitches, do that. To start off, just go in and out in the same place for a few, or you can tie the knot. And then it's just a case of oh, taking a nice breath and stitching. I'm going round the edge, let me show you, twice, makes a nice button rim. So now I'm going round, round here, so I've gone all the way round and now I'm just going to go, you don't have to do this, you do, you do your own thing, I'm just going to go over sort of the same sort of stitch but going going round the edge basically not even a buttonhole stitch or a blanket stitch you can do that if you want to and I do on some but this is just place it over and then you doesn't even matter where you place it because this isn't this is slow stitching so any stitch goes this is made with love <laughs> oh. so over and then down and then over and then down all the way around this is just my idea. You might have other ideas. How are you going? Are you going to make the fabric buttons? And and how are you going to make them? Freddie is enjoying sitting on Ben's lawn, soaking up the sun. <laughs> He's got some water out there and he'll just wander in soon to get the shade. Fabric buttons. Fabric buttons. You've done Fabric. that before. So. I have done that. Yeah. I have done that yeah. before. I just fancied doing it. Can I show you a 
I've been showing various stitches. Can I show you how to do the... Are you showing me or...? Well, yes. <laughs> Are and, you showing and, me? Oh, okay. And everybody. Oh, right, OK. Yeah, the blanket stitch. Um, you just go there and then this is my version of the blanket stitch. Obviously, I say to people, do any stitch, but if you wanted to do a blanket stitch around, put it in and then you put that round. Do you remember me teaching you any stitches or teaching you how to sew a button on, Ben? No, not really. Not really, no. <laughs> no. No, I think I did. Oh, uh, you probably did, I've just forgotten. Yeah. No, no, not a problem. Yeah. No, you don't have to... You can't remember everything. No, 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 no. that's true. So it down and then around like that. But just do what stitch you feel comfortable with. It's been great fun sewing the buttons this week. These buttons are great for sewing while I'm travelling. I found a shady spot in the garden just to sit and make some more buttons. Look at these lovely, these lovely poppies just growing in the cracks. That's better, Freddie. You're in the shade now, aren't you? Well done. And a little breeze came and they blew all around like little autumn leaves. And this is all ready for the buttonhole bit to go in. So you can do it like a cross. Or I do that, but sometimes I like to go down leave a dangle there and go like that up again and then I tie it There we are. I'll do a double knot. There we are. Snip them off with your nice sharp sewing scissors. <laughs> there. And that's, that's another thread on there. I've got them in various colours and then I like to add that little bit of gold. It's always nice to add a little gold. Where's one that I've done? Oh here. So I literally tie the gold in here like this. That's it, stitch it in like that. And then I I don't even need to go down. I just wind it in the stitches. I thread it through the stitches. And it just adds that certain something. If you, ma if you have a little bit of gold, you could add a little bit of gold paint. There you go. Metallic thread, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. And I go round a few times. Just adds that magical sparkle. Now when these are done, what are we going to use them for? There's a question. Let's see. Now they can go in our... We could pop them in our fabric journals. This is all a little bit of a work in progress, but maybe in the corner. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we could put them 
in in one of our other journals let's have a look this journal needs to be quite flat but this is my happy face journal it's, it's coming on let's add one let's add one to our happy my happy face journal yeah there we are it's quite nice because it's a round photo oh serendipitous that always yeah, you can use Fabri-Tac or I can use my glue or you can sew them in. There we are. That just adds a nice bit of texture when, when you would be looking through this journal just to feel. I also made one into a brooch. Now, the brooch pins that I had are... Just can't put my fingers on them for the minute, but I got a safety pin and sewed it to the back. So I made one into a little brooch. Oh, that was with the sari ribbon. I had a little piece of sari ribbon from Happy Mail. And so we've got the sandwich here. We've got the back, some, some wadding or filling. And the sari ribbon, it stretches actually and gives quite a nice texture. So yeah, that's what I use for that one. I've also, if you want, you can add some shiny bits of fabric too. I've got some more here just, just to work on. I'll pop them on my pin cushion all ready for me. Hmm. It's very relaxing just winding the gold thread in and out. <sighs> Taking a nice deep breath, gosh. What else have I been up to this week? Last Monday I made the wreck this journal. Oh, that came back quickly, literally. Oh, I only posted it yesterday afternoon. I eco dyed it. Add four cups of boiling water. To the alum powder. Oh, didn't need mixing in at all. Here we are. So, I've got some papers in there. I'm just going to put the journal in here just to soak the papers didn't get any postmark on there unfortunately ah. here we are oh lovely give it a good soak and I'm gonna go around the garden and pick some flowers meters roses and sage maybe some roses too Ooh. These geranium leaves look gorgeous. Let's try those. Begonias in there. Oh, such a cute little basket. It's a tr it's called a trug full of flowers. Hmm. I'm just laying them on. And yes, rose leaves, blackberry leaves, and the blue flowers. Hmm lay them on and turning the page. I'm steaming some blackberry leaves and some scrunched up fabric. Just while I've got the liquid in there, thought I may as well dye some fabric. It's just an experiment. So let's open it up. It's nearly dry. I'm going to put it in the sunshine to dry now once I've opened it. But I thought it might be quite nice to open it together. Here we are. These are some papers round the edge. Oh, look at the mark the stamens made. Hmm. Oh, that's lovely. There's the stamens. So we rub them off. Oh, lovely. 
So there's some papers around the outside. Oh, oh some beautiful, oh gosh. Oh, can you see this emerald green colour? Oh, I am pleased with these. Oh, oh that was the begonia. I'll take it, I'll take it off later, but oh, oh. Oh, that's the sage that's giving that emerald green colour. Wow. Let's just get my knife and scrape these off. That's a lovely eco print there. Mm, I've got the sage leaf. That's amazing. Mm. And here's the re oh, I've got a back page. Um, I don't. I think this this emerald green too here is the stalk of the begonia. That's very effective. Ah, oh, and here begins my wrecking of this journal. Put these all over here, otherwise I'll wreck my buttons. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we are. How does it open? Ah, oh, here. I'm presuming it'll go all crinkly once I have. Let me just rescue this bumblebee. You stop, Mr. Bumblebee. Yes, um, let's do this. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, there we are. <laughs> that was easy. That was easy, wasn't it, Fred? Ah, oh, let's open it up. Beautifully. Ah. Oh. oh, oh, wonderful. Take the leaves off. Oh, it really has. Oh, that's nettle. Oh, no, that's a blackberry leaf. Gives the limey colour. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Oh, the roses. These are the yellow roses. Oh, they didn't go yellow, but they've given a lovely pattern. Paper is quite delicate in places. It'll crisp up and make a nice crinkly sound, I'm sure. Oh, wow. Hmm. This. Oh, more blackberry leaves. It's the blackberry leaves. The blackberry leaves have made like a rusty colour. Oh, look at that. Wonderful. Hmm. Oh, and the nettle. That's given that emeraldy look. Oh, this was the geranium leaf with the purpley center uh, not purpley like red center oh look, i've got some lovely veins there though oh it's wonderful i love it that's the thing with some doing something like this you never know what it's going to be so it just adds that little bit of magic to our day doesn't it experimenting and playing, playing in the garden. <laughs> oh. Let's, oh. oh, that paint is collapsing. That is fine. Oh, oh, this was the purple clematis. That's given a lovely dark print. Oh, wow. 
wonderful. I could go in when it's dry and write in what these were. I think that's an idea, isn't it? Gosh, I'm not quite sure how long this journal's going to stand up to what I'm going to do to it. Oh, a little print there. Oh, these are forget-me-nots. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, the forget-me-nots. I literally have got some. A little bit of the blue colour. Oh, lovely. Wonderful. And it's given the pages that even aren't, that this was white, it's giving them a, like a nice tinge. Oh, lovely. Oh, more in the bag. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, this is incredible. This is the yellow rose and it has, the pages have become yellow. Just a whole bunch of yellow rose petals. Oh, that is incredible. Mm. I love that. Was that the last page? I'm going to sit this, oh no, one more page of magic. Oh, we love this, don't we? Yellow rose petal. That was the pink rose petal. Sage. I can't believe the yellow from the yellow, yellow rose petals. Oh, lovely. Mm. Wow, that did work out well. Oh, more, more. Well, I'll put that out to dry <laughs> oh, on the picnic bench. Mm. Well, I think it's time to have a little chat face to face. <laughs> also, in the bottom of the pan, because I was steaming, so there was some water in the bottom. I crumpled up some white cotton fabric just from an old nightdress and it's got a nice lemony let me put it up against white it has got a nice lemony lemony color and i did some index cards as well oh, yeah it's a lovely lemon color hmm Oh, and this yummy sheet of paper as well. I just put some, oh, this was in the bottom as it was steaming. And then when I took the journal out, I thought, oh, this liquid looks nice. So while it was still hot, I put, just put these papers in. So yes, <laughs> they look lovely. I'm pleased with them. Pleased with the results. <laughs> Isn't nature um, a wonderful, a wonderful thing? <sighs> hmm. Take a nice deep breath <clears throat> and relax here for a while with one another. Hmm. What have you been up to this week, Flo? There we are, Flo. You're still looking absolutely gorgeous. I see you've got your cup of tea and your fairy cake. I've got my fairy cake too. <laughs> and a cup of tea. 
<laughs> oh, can we have a look at your journal page, Flo? Oh, lovely. It's the happy mail. The frog was from Heather. It's a good world because you're in it. Oh, look. And the sticker, way to go, that was from Beth. And the little bunny postage stamp, that was from Becky. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that's a very happy page, um, Flo. Flo likes um, using the happy mail on the desk when it arrives. Safe journey, little toucan. <clears throat> I don't need to pull an ATC today because I've got these lovely... I've got the tag, a heart and and a coin shape from from Little Pickles, Jodie Ann. So I'm going to put these up on the mushroom today. They're absolutely beautiful. Live simply, give generously. You can never have too much happy. Creativity takes courage. You can never have too much happy. It's going to go straight on my smiley face journal pile there that's that's lovely and i'm going to put these two in the mushroom they will inspire me and give me encouragement throughout the week thank you little pickles look what else little pickles made isn't it absolutely gorgeous a little watercolor portrait of Freddie. Oh, I love it with a little golden heart too. Thanks little pickles. <laughs> Let's pull a Janice card shall we? You are always in my heart. Oh that's lovely. Thank you Janice. Oh that's really lovely. Sometimes I put these back in the box. Sometimes they go in happy mails. Oh, it's lovely. I shall pop that one there. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Talking about you are always in my heart. Let's... Let's light a candle, shall we? You are brave. Even though it's a lovely warm day, still like a nice cup of tea. How about you? What drinks do you have when it's when it's nice and hot? But of course, for some of you, it's winter and autumn, I know. So you really will be enjoying your, your hot beverages to keep warm. I know some of you have been quite chilly. Well, Freddie and I will say goodbye. Take care, everyone. And I do hope that you get a little bit of time to create today, today and over the week. And if you don't feel up to creating, don't 
don't pressurize yourself sometimes it's just nice to to watch people creating and if you can't get out and about maybe you could go on some virtual tours on youtube and visit some gardens with some beautiful flowers in take care everyone bye Penny Angelica's going to look after the buttons for me, aren't you, Penny Angelica? It's ready. Ready. Would mm. you like to see the plate? Ooh. Yes. And you yeah. to think, the ye of little faith, you thought that was a pancake last week. Yeah. Well, if you had it that way around. It would look like a pancake. Three pancakes. Yeah. Do you think that one, if that was in brown, that would look like a Jaffa cake? <laughs> It would. Brilliant I, I am questioning how many biscuits is go are going to fit on that top level. Well, it's whimsical, babe. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> it's whimsical. Good, good job, it's whimsical. Yeah. And by whimsical, keep, whimsical, you mean not practical. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll have to make some sandwiches to go on this plate next, I think. <laughs> oh, 